Hello guys, how you doing? This is su amigo Alex, your friend Alex. And today I'm going to show you how to update your Android device. So let's see if we can update the Android version on this device. So we're going to go to settings. Here you can go to software update. Click there and click on check for updates. Okay. Software update interrupt. No update is available for your device at this time. Please try again in 24 hours. But I already try again, and this is always going to be the same. I'm never going to be able to update my phone using this option. This usually happens on variants of the main device. Okay, so in this case, I have an AT&T variant. You can see here AT&T. Check what version do you have right now. So if we go to software information, we have Android version 13, One UI 5.0. I really don't know if this Android device can have a better Android version or better security patch level. I have January 1st, 2023. So it's kind of old, right? I'm sure there's a new security patch. How can we know if we have a new version? You can just Google it, you know? You're gonna search for Galaxy A14 5G latest Android version. And you can see that it's Android 14. So we have Android 14 here. So there's a new update that we cannot do because of the error we got, right? Software update interrupt. So we're gonna fix this in a second. So in order to do the update, guys, I need to download an app called a Smart Switch. So you need to be logged into your Google account and you need to open the Play Store. From here, you're gonna search for Smart Switch. Now, be careful where you click because there's a lot of apps similar to this. In this case, it's this one. You see Samsung Smart Switch. Click there. It's by Samsung Electronics. So this is the original one, Samsung Smart Switch Mobile. And you're going to install it. All right, you're going to open it. Samsung Smart Switch, continue. You need these permissions. You're going to click Allow. And it says transfer your data. All right, so you can just close it. Then you're gonna need to download a smart switch on your computer. This could be a PC or a Mac. In this case, I'm using a PC. So I already have a smart switch. You can open a smart switch. Now you're gonna connect your device to the computer. Try to use an original cable. And I'm gonna plug it here. Let's see what happened. And you can see autoplay. It already identified the device. It's saying Galaxy A14 5G is connected. And here it says a new software version is available. So right off the bat, it's telling me that there's a new version for my device. So I'm going to click update. You can see the current version, and this is going to keep the Android version. So probably it's just a security patch, and then I should be able to do Android 14. So let's check, all right? So we're going to click continue. It's 4.43 gigabytes. Continue. And it says before updating, I'm just going to click all confirm. Welcome to Smart Switch. Continue. And now it's doing the update. Downloading software update components. Please do not disconnect the cable from the PC. It's doing it pretty fast. This is just the components. This is not the whole update. Admin Delegator. Do you want to allow this app to make changes? Yes. Now it's doing the download. Now it's downloading the actual upgrade, which is 4 gigs. So it might take a little bit though. Now it's downloading the actual files that are going to upgrade my Android device. So this is going to take a while. All right. And looks like it's finished. Let's see what happened on the phone. Software information, Android 13, One UI version 5.1. So look on the security patch. It went to July 1st, 2025. All right, so we updated the security patch. What happened with the Android version? We're supposed to get Android 14. So maybe on the next one, it's gonna happen. Let me click here on OK. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unplug it and plug it again. Hopefully it's gonna give me another update. Your device software is up to date. So it looks like this device is not going to go to Android 14 for some reason. It's not going to do it. But I already updated the security patch. A lot of people are going to ask me what happened if I have a Motorola or any other brand, right? Each brand should have their own software. I don't have the Motorola, but there's a software for the Motorola. And I'm planning to do a video about that one too. So stay tuned, guys. But again... Different models, different software, right? In this case, I'm just doing the smart switch that works with Samsung devices. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you like it. If you want to support what I do, don't forget to subscribe. Give me thumbs up and I'll see you on my next video. Take care, guys. Bye.